Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the S10 Plus port for our Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. And this is the initial build, which is a testing build. So I'll post the link down in the description for this ROM. So you need to go. If you are interested, you can test it out. Send feedback for the developer for a more stable version. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the Lightroom S10 Plus. So if you have used Lightroom before, you know very limited apps are like these are present. Also in the settings, you can see Android Pie, which is the One UI. And this is not the One UI 1.0. This is the updated One UI 1.1. And not much of the changes are available in the 1.1 version. See Android version 9. You can see this. And the security patch, oops, security patch is the February 1, 2019 security patch, which is the latest one. Now the like March will be available in maybe next update after March. You can see my baseband is still crap, which is the like Oreo. So I haven't flashed any firmware after that, just custom ROMs. You can see build number light ROM and new kernel version 4.4.111. So guys, this is a test build because this is not suitable fully as a daily driver. So you can see into the launcher options, you can see rotate to landscape mode, like some now like new UI stuff, one UI stuff, and you can see hide apps and all the stuff is present. Then into the settings, settings layout is same, like it won't change of course. Into display, you can see all same stuff, night mode working fine. You can see night mode works fine. Also the blue light filter works fine. So now I'll keep up the night mode, looks better. Then you can see uh, digital well-being is present here. Also with the dark theme, you can see wind down and all the stuff present. App notifications are not, you can control here. Uh, device care, we have this stuff. So if you have like, use a Samsung device, you know, that device care stuff. Then this is in blue color, I don't know why. But you can see Galaxy S8, G950 FD. And this works for the Galaxy S8 Plus 2. So yeah, the dark theme looks really nice. And the dark theme works really well on this device. Now guys, as you can see, there are some lags here in the launcher when I swipe. Also when I uh, pull down the notification manner. So it's not smooth, uh, like it's a first uh, build and it's not smooth for daily usage. You can see also NFC doesn't work. You can see NFC if I uh, keep pressing it, it will force stop. So yeah, NFC keeps stopping. So NFC won't work. Here we have camera. Let's take a look at the camera. Yes, we get this S10 camera as this is S10 port. You can see 2x zoom. We don't get the portrait mode and stuff. And we have this, what we call that button, scene optimizer. Sorry, this is a scene optimizer. I don't know if it works or not, but yeah, I need to give it a try. And also I will be uh, making a new video on this ROM when it gets updated with like fully stable. So yeah, I'll make and I'll like show you the scene optimizer works or not so yeah the camera works fine like there are no such options so nfc uh, is not working also there are lags so yeah like you can decide if you want to use it but it's not much that uh, suitable in my usage because it's lagging too much like the launcher you can see there are lags but yeah uh, great for a first build great work done by the, wall uh, by the developer so yeah also guys we get this s9 wallpapers uh, sorry s10 wallpapers s10 plus uh, you can see into view all we get only these three wallpapers from home screen and this maybe you can download now this pack uh, uh, multi-pack it says it's only available for the lock screen i don't know why it keeps on changing so it's it's a good thing like you're not getting bored of the wallpaper so if i set this as my wallpaper you can see 11 wallpapers applied to lock screen and the one you set is not available but you can see all of the other 11s are available like it keeps on changing so yeah also this thing i didn't know like wallpaper uh, you can see the wallpaper it uh, it like moves when i move when i move the device so you can see it creates this black border which like it feels like the wallpaper has ended so this is like actually weird I don't know why Samsung is doing this, but maybe yeah. And you can see here also on the home screen it moves, but it doesn't end here, so that's great. Yeah. So guys, let's check fingerprint scanner, and you can see it works fine. And we don't have the ultrasonic sensor on our Galaxy set, so I have to use my thumb uh, normal fingerprint sensor. And you can see on one go it is added, so done. It's a little bit slow. I don't know why much lags are there. Maybe it's not optimized for the like daily usage. 
ओके ओके इट्स रियली यू कैन सी द लैग हियर आई ओके इट गिव्स स्मॉल एनिमेशन लाइक लेट्स ओपन द लॉक स्क्रीन अगेन ओके इट्स रियली स्लो मैन ओके सो या यू कैन सी द लैग्स लाइक रियली लाइफ सो या दैट्स आई वॉज सेइंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट इट एंड रिपोर्ट बग्स एंड नॉट स्टफ टू द डेवलपर यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस और लाइक नॉट सो इट्स नॉट सुटेबल फॉर डेली यूजेज इट्स लैकिंग अ लॉट सो गाइज आई ट्राइड द फेस रिकग्नेशन बट इट डजेंट वर्क इट जस्ट फोर्स क्लोजेस लाइक इट से इज कैनॉट ओपन कैमरा और समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके यू कैन सी कंटिन्यू ये सारी वेर यू नो कंटिन्यू and you can see it doesn't work so yeah face recognition not working so face recognition is not working also iris scanner is not present because we don't have any iris scanner on the galaxy s10 i guess because there is a like the uh, what they call the cut uh, the camera holes and um, yeah it's a full screen display so i guess iris scanner is not present on that device maybe if i'm not right like just correct me down here if the iris scanner is there or maybe the face and iris intelligence scanner is there so yeah like you can like just put it down in the comment section and guys that's it for the video so i don't uh, like have any further uh, uh, things to talk about this uh, rom because it's like really lagging also it heated a lot so i don't know why so in case if you guys just want to take a look at how it is and how the like development is on going so you can like just uh, go to the telegram groups or also follow the xd thread which is down below in the description and if you are interested in installing this watch this video like watch the further part of this video and yes power off your device if you want to like install it now go to the recovery mode so press the like volume volume up public uh, speed and power button and this is the boot logo yes you can also flash this i will like tell you how to and yes all of the links are present in the description so Guys, don't worry. Okay, Dalvik data cache. These are the items you have to wipe if you are coming from other ROM. Like, of course, this is the first build of this ROM, so you are obviously coming from other ROM. Now you just like do this. Uh, swipe to confirm flash, and just follow the met. Uh, like, follow my things. What am I doing? So like, yeah, Aroma installer. Like every other Galaxy set ROM is uh, has Aroma installer. I agree. ROM installation. Yes. Uh, you need to select uh, all of the apps you need. So I will just like easily, uh, quickly select them. Yeah. Then stock camera. So yeah, I'm like preferring. Uh, okay, if you want Dolby Atmos, like just choose dual speaker mode. So I will just try this now. Then Samsung keyboard. I like Samsung stuff in Samsung. So if you want both, you can get both Samsung and Google, Samsung TouchWiz, Samsung Stock apps. Install uh, S8 Plus Pi, and if you want to root it with Magisk, you can just select this option, or else not. And it's done. Install it now. So let this installation finish. Uh, I will be just back uh, in a minute. So yeah, let's skip this part. So guys, as you can see, the installation has been complete. Click next. no if you want to flash the s10 boot splash which is the boot logo okay we are back into the tdlr p recovery uh, it locks the screen i don't know why get back boot splash s10 reboot and installation reboot after installation complete and if you want for the s8 plus the s10 plus 1 i have the link in the description you can flash any of them On either, so yeah. If you want S10 Plus for S8 or S10 Plus S10 for S8 Plus, so yeah. If you just want in case, so you can see the Samsung Galaxy S10. Like I already flashed, but it gets flashed. Like you have a live example, so and then you will get the boot animation. So yes, uh, it will just take some like uh, two to three minutes to boot, or if not, just wait for it. It will of course boot, and then you can set up and like test or like if you. Uh, don't use NFC or you are okay with some minor lags like you are a TouchWiz user so it's like obviously okay so if you are like really okay with that then yeah a big thumbs up for you you can just like install this ROM and like show it to your friends like see S10 system in ASIC so guys uh, that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe for more videos for the Galaxy S8 and see you guys in next video. and yes my galaxy set is like automatically repaired it so i'll 
make a video on that like it's really funny like it was like actually dead completely dead but yeah the display now it's like working just fine you can see the video whole video it was working fine if you have seen my old uh, lineage was 16 uh, sorry lineage of 15 video the display was like really uh, not uh, like it was like really uh, have some di visual disturbances on it but yeah anyways bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video bye